Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to connect a remote database of PHP My Admin for MySQL. And the coding I am using PHP. The remote database is GoDaddy Hostings. Uh, right now, I am in the GoDaddy Hostings. Let me sign in to connect my database. After logging to my account, here you see some websites are here and I will show you to connect MySQL which is PHP MyAdmin through web hosting windows and as well as plus control. First we will write the code to connect the database of PHP MyAdmin for MySQL. After writing the code later we will connection string settings of the plus control. Here the code I am writing the notepad plus plus and the file name is connection.php after writing the code i will upload this file from my local pc to the remote database let's stop the coding the php the first thing we need the host name database username password table name and the field names here I'm using for this example only one field I'm taking from a table in PHP, to connect a database, there is a method called mysql underscore connect. Connect, which takes parameters hostname. These these variables we have to declare here, and the username. password or die method if the database is not connected it will show the message unable to connect the database now the next step is we have to find the database name for that we have to use the method called mysql underscore select db method which takes a parameter of database name this one this variable I'm copying and paste here after selecting the database now we have to write the query of that dollar Query is equals to select start from table name here this table name I'm copying here paste here after that to get the records from this chosen table result is equals to mysql underscore query method which takes the parameter of this query after that if statement if the result result while row is equals to mysql underscore fetch array from the table selected table which is which is a result dollar name is equals to dollar row takes a parameter of field name this row the field name
echo dollar name. I'm saving the file. Now the next part is we have to collect the host name, database name, user, password, table name, and field name. For that, we need to again go back to my GoDaddy hostings account. Yeah, again, we are back to the GoDaddy hostings. Now we'll gather the connection string information of the plus control. Go to manage. And now I log in into my PHP, my admin of GoDaddy hostings. The first information we need the host name. The first one we need the host name. The host name is the server. This is the IP address. You copy this then. You can choose from here also. This is the host name of IP address. This is the host name. And the next one is the database. Database is MySQL DB. This is a user database I have created. The next one is uh, give your username and password. Here I'm giving the connect one, two, three. Note the username and password. I'm using the fake one. When I'm uploading this file onto my remote database, I will change into my real credentials. Five, six, seven. And the table name, I'm expanding the user database. Here are the following tables in this database. I'm choosing the students table. Let the browse what this students table contains. So this is the data in the student table. Copy the students table. Paste the student table. And the field name I'm using here in the student table got two fields, student ID and student name. I'm choosing the student name only. Now let me expand this student name. Copy. Paste the student name. I think everything is done. Now save the file. It's time to upload this file into my remote database. Now in the tools, the file manager I'm uploading that file, connection.php. Click upload, add file. The connection.php is at the desktop. Here is the file PHP file. I just uploaded. Copy this file. Now the remote side is great discounts dot code in the connection that PHP. This, this is the URL. We got the 500 internal server. Let's check the code. Well, here the double quotes are missing. I'm saving the file. And here is the output. Uh, we'll give the break between the names. Just go back to here. Let's give break here. Save the file. Let's go back to the browser. Refresh. Here it is. Jack, Peter, Mohit and Vijay. Let's check in the table. So here is a Jack, Peter, Mohit and Vijay. I have just showed how to connect MySQL DB database through plus connection. Now the next I will show you how to connect with web hosting windows. The code is as it is, but one thing we have to remember, the host name. Host name is important. Click manage. Click MySQL. Click actions. Go to details. Come to bottom. But for the Windows web hosting, 
the host name is this one just copy here and paste instead of IP address paste that code here that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos